kind of scandal now, this one involving a beauty pageant. There's a new Miss Universe Canada today, all because somebody made a math mistake on the weekend. Rob Cooper has that story. Universe Canada 2015 is Denise Garrido! It was a moment 26-year-old Denise Garrido had dreamed of since she was a little girl. I was in a daze because I'm like, is this reality? Is this like a dream right now? Because Saturday night, the Bradford woman was crowned Miss Universe Canada. But the celebration was short-lived when Garrido was told a mistake was made by the judges. She was not the winner. In fact, she was the third runner-up. Embarrassed. I'm just, I'm embarrassed because... All of my family and friends and my town was celebrating and like all these messages were being sent to me like, Go Denise, we're so proud of you. Garrido says she was already doing promotional videos and interviews when she was given the bad news. I thought that I was probably dreaming and this wasn't real. And yeah, unfortunately it was real and it was, it was very heartbreaking. We made several attempts to speak with the pageant's organizers. They did not return any of our calls or emails today. But on the Beauties of Canada website, we found this statement. A typo was discovered in the top five entries, which significantly impacted the final results of the competition. We would like to offer our sincere apology to Denise Garrido for this human error discovered while validating the results. But even after the mix-up, the website still lists both women as winners. Definitely a silver lining. Scott Dietrich cool. is Garrido's boyfriend. He says it's been a tough few days for the family, especially after receiving so many texts and emails from friends and family. It's, heart, it's heartbreaking, you know. I mean, we, we love Denise, and it, it's heartbreaking to see her have to go through that. But she's an exceptional woman. Despite the controversy, Garrido, who finds comfort in her music, says she's not letting the disappointment get the best of her. I, I'm a strong believer that things happen for a reason. And as heartbreaking and devastating as that moment was to me, there's always a greater purpose for everything. And I was supposed to go through this experience for a reason. Garrido says she's booked solid with interview requests over the next few days and will use this as a learning experience and says she holds no hard feelings. Rob Cooper, CTV News, Bradford.